Hey there folks, in today's video I'm going to show you how to sharpen the blades on a real type mower. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to tighten up, there's a bar that runs along the bottom of here. And it's lifted up when you tighten these two knobs here. So as you can see right now, there's not that much contact. It kind of spins a little too freely, so you want it to have a little more friction. So we're going to tighten these about the same equally. So as you can hear, it's actually getting a little more friction to it, which is a good thing. We're just gonna go a little bit more. All right, so now that that's done, our next task is to take off the wheels. So all we're gonna do for that is we're gonna take off this little cap right here with a straight edge screwdriver. And then this wheel will just jiggle its way off. And on the inside of it, just on this little shaft right here, there's actually this little tiny gear. So it actually sits there and that's when you spin the wheel, there's teeth on the wheel and that will spin your blade. And then we want to take off this little metal piece right here just for now, out of the shaft there, just so we don't lose it. Then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Alright, so now that the wheels are off, depending on the size of this piece of metal here that goes in the shaft, you'll get a socket, put it on the end of a drill, get one that fits on there. So my particular one is 7 8 but it varies upon different brands. So our next step, we're going to get this compound. It's called Valve Grinding Compound. This one is by Permatex. And we just open up the cap, use the outside of the cap to pop it. And we're going to spread a little bit on each blade. All right, now that we've covered all the blades, we're gonna grab that little piece of metal and we're gonna put it back into the shaft right there. And you're gonna put your drill in reverse and run it for a few minutes. All right, so now that we've gone a bit, I'm just gonna actually tighten it down a little bit more, apply a little more compound, and then go at it again.
All right, so now that that's all nice and sharpened up, we're gonna go ahead and we're actually gonna put our wheels back on. And while you have it apart, actually, before you put the wheels on, just in that shaft there, if you wanna drop a little bit of oil and spin it with the drill, just make sure everything's running all nice and smooth. We're just gonna put our gear back on there first. Put our wheel back on. Place our cap on. And of course, the same on the other side. Make sure, make sure you don't forget the metal piece because if you don't put that before you put the gear, it's not actually going to do anything. So your metal piece in, your gear in, wheel on, and cap on. And we'll go take it out to the front yard and we're going to go test it and mow a little lawn with it. All right, folks, so now that everything's all sharpened up, we're just gonna take it for a quick spin, make sure everything's all good. So everything looks all good, nice and sharp. That's all there is to it, folks. Hopefully you found this helpful, and please like and subscribe.